welcome to today's class. My name is Iene Akran. Our topic for today is computer ethics under the theme basic computer operations and concepts. Now let's look at our objectives for today's class. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to explain what ethic is, list ways of taking good care of a computer room or laboratory, state the rules and regulations of a computer room or laboratory, and observe computer room or laboratory rules and regulations. A computer is an electronic device or machine that can process and store information. This information, which is usually data, can be pictures, numbers, words, and even sound. Let's take an example. To process and store information, you will need inputs. Let's say we have two numbers to add, two plus three. We have one, two, plus one, two, three. Now, the addition of these two numbers can be called processing. Two plus three will give us five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, in the course of your mathematical operation, you might require this number for another operation. Therefore, you need to store this number aside. That's where the storage comes in. Now, this device can be used for so many purposes. For example, it can be used when writing computer-based tests to browse the internet for useful information and also to type our personal data. In other words, a computer can be used to browse the internet for information. For instance, you're doing a research and you need information for your research. A computer can serve that purpose. Or if you want to type your personal data, if you have maybe an essay to write in school, and you need to put your ideas together, a computer can serve that purpose. Sometimes a person can own and use a personal computer. However, so many computers at a time can be kept in a room or in a laboratory where so many people can use them for different purposes. This means that in as much as a person can own a computer, it is also possible that a number of computers can be kept in a room or a laboratory for general purpose, which means so many people can use these computers for different purposes at the same time or different times. Whether the computer is used for personal or public work, there is need to take proper care of the computer and the information stored in it. This means whether your computer is for your personal use or for the public, there is need to take care of the computer as well as the information that will be contained in that computer. First, there are some principles or rules that are established that help guide and govern the use of computers. Such principles are usually referred to as ethics. Just like in a classroom, you would have rules and regulations that govern the students and how they behave. Taking care of computers also have rules and regulations, otherwise called ethics. Let's look at some definitions we'll be using in the course of our lesson today. Ethics are set of moral principles or rules that guide or govern a person, group of people, or a place. As a person, you can have certain things that guide the way you do things 
the way you behave or the way you handle certain situations. Computer ethics can be defined as a set of moral principles that are required in the use of a computer or a computer laboratory. In general, computer ethics are rules that govern our conduct in the use of the computer or a computer room. A computer room or computer laboratory, also known as or can be shortened to computer lab, is a place where computer services are rendered to an individual or a group of people. A computer laboratory can be found in schools, offices, or in public places like a computer business center. I'm sure in your area you must have seen a business center. That too is an example of a computer room or a computer lab. These are images or examples of a computer lab. You can see we have computers well stationed and there are individuals being serviced in one form or the other. A computer lab can be used for the following. Computer training, classroom learning, internet browsing, printing and typing. In a computer laboratory where computer training is offered, a group of people can come in to learn one or two things about a computer. Now, a computer lab will serve that purpose because there are so many computers that can be used at the same time. Also, a group of students can come in to learn a subject, maybe on computer, and a computer lab will serve that purpose. People can also come in to browse the internet for information or resources on personal projects or school projects. People can also come in to print as well as type. In a computer laboratory, there are so many things that make up the computer lab. The following include features of a computer lab. That means these are things you can find in a computer laboratory. You can find a computer, a mouse, a keyboard, a printer, chairs, tables, a CPU, as well as an instructor, etc. This is an illustration of a computer laboratory. Remember, we said you can find a computer you can find a mouse, you can find a keyboard, you can find a printer, you can find tables, you can also find chairs, and you can find a CPU as well as an instructor. An instructor is someone who guides the people on the use of these devices. Let's look at how we can manage a computer lab. A computer lab must be well managed so that it can continue to function at its best. The following are ways to take care of a computer lab. One, the computer lab must be tidy and neat at all times. There should be proper ventilation, that is, free flow of air in and out of the lab. This is to avoid stuffiness and suffocation as well as unnecessary heating up of appliances. If a computer lab is not properly ventilated, that is, there is no air coming in and air going out, it is possible that some of the appliances could get damage due to overheating and also the room might be stuffy and cause suffocation so it is important that there are openings allowing air 
in and out. Dust should be cleared off every appliance or equipment every day. The chairs and tables should be arranged in a comfortable manner. There should be no slouching in the computer room. That is, people should not sit in a slanting manner. They have to sit with their backs straight and arms well rested on the table so that they can use their computers with ease. The computers and other appliances should be arranged in an orderly manner to allow for easy movement in and out of the lab to avoid accidents. If the computers are all arranged in a closed up manner, there will be no movement, there will be no easy movement in a lab. And also, if things are kept haphazardly, it is possible that someone could trip in the course of navigating his way in a computer lab. Therefore, there should be an orderly arrangement of the computers and appliances. There should be proper lighting in the computer room. It is important that there is enough light in a computer room so that the users don't strain their eyes while using the computers. In a computer lab, there are do's and don'ts that must be obeyed. They are called rules and regulations or ethics. In a computer lab, there are certain rules and regulations that are required to guide the way people behave or do things in a computer lab to avoid rowdiness or damaging of appliances. Some computer ethics are do not, do not make noise while in the lab. This allows for concentration in the laboratory. People making noise distract others who are trying to focus on their work. Do not bring food, snacks, or drinks into the lab. Bringing food, snacks, or drinks into the laboratory can cause spillage or breeding of insects and this could damage one or two appliances. Therefore, do not bring food, snacks or drinks into the lab. Do not change or remove any item from the lab. Anything that was there in the laboratory when you went in, do not take it out or change it. Do not change any settings on the computer. There are certain settings on a computer like display picture, color, resolution on a computer that have been set by default by the lab instructor. You shouldn't change it for any reason except you are instructed to do so because it might alter one or two things on the computer, thereby making it impossible for other people to use. The do's, these are the things that you should do. Ensure your space is kept tidy. Don't be rowdy, don't be disorderly, else it affects the people also using the lab. Save your work regularly. If you do not save your work, you are likely to lose all the things you have been doing. Peradventure, there is a system shutdown or power failure. So it is advised that you save your work as often as you can. Report to the teacher, instructor, or person in charge immediately if there is a problem. If you experience a problem, maybe with your computer, or a device is not functioning and as it should, don't take it into your hands to try to fix the problem. Ensure you report it immediately to the teacher, instructor, or the person in charge. He or she can assist you in ensuring 
it works better. Stay on the tasks assigned to you. Make sure you don't do anything outside of what you've been instructed to do. Peradventure you're there for an exam or a computer lesson. Don't do any other thing that is not related to your computer training or your exam. Remember to switch off your computer and take your belongings along with you when leaving the lab. When the lesson, tutorial, or purpose for which you were there is over, ensure you turn off your system except instructed otherwise and make sure you take everything you came into the lab with along with you because there are times where people leave their items and they do not recover them afterwards so ensure you turn off your system and take the belongings you came with along with you we've come to the end of our lesson let's take a look at what we learned today a computer is an electronic device or machine that can process and store information. A computer laboratory is a place where computer services are rendered to an individual or a group of people. It is also known as a computer lab or a computer room. A computer lab can be found in schools, offices, and public places. A computer lab must be well managed at all times. There are rules and regulations guiding the use of a computer lab and these rules must be obeyed. Now, the test section. Question 1. A computer laboratory is a place where dash services are rendered. A. Laundry. B. Computer C. Medical D. Farming If you chose B. Computer, you are correct. A computer laboratory is a place where computer services are rendered. Question 2. Which of the following is not a computer lab rule. A. Do not make noise in the lab. B. Do not change any setting on the computer. C. Do not prevent people from eating in the lab. D. Do not take out any item from the lab. If you chose C, do not prevent people from eating in the lab, you are correct. This is not a computer lab rule. The correct rule is prevent people or do not eat in the lab. This is the end of our lesson. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.